Hey everyone, this is Richard Noto. I am a Florida licensed realtor. I am also a Florida licensed home inspector. I am also a notary public and a loan signing agent. So in this video, what I want to talk about is mortgages and how to find one. Okay, so the first step you want to do is figure out whether you want to go through a bank or a broker. Okay. With a bank, you're going to be a little bit more uh, confined as to what the bank offers, that particular bank, okay? With a broker, the broker is going to have a whole bunch of uh, loan uh, programs that the um, a broker is going to be able to uh, pull up and to match you with ones that are qualified and also uh, potentially based on uh, the uh, rates that are offered. Uh, for more info about that, um, contact the mortgage broker uh, or your uh, local bank. Um, with a bank, uh, banks uh, have a tendency to run late uh, with um, uh, uh, lending to close. Now with uh, brokers, brokers are typically more on time, but here's a few things to uh, keep in mind. Um, what to look for, okay? now. What I like to do is I like to send them an email, okay? Now, see how much time, how much time it takes for you to get a response, okay? If you don't get a response, you could try again in like another day or something, uh, you know, just to see if, if maybe your email uh, didn't go through. Um, but otherwise, see how much time it takes for them to respond because typically if the response time is very long, you know, you might be sitting there for days on end and you have no idea what's going on and that broker's not contacting you. So, you know, it could be that they're very busy. It could also be that they just, it's just how they are. So that's something that's uh, very important. Time. Um, another thing uh, to look into is if they have some kind of a secure uh, portal for you to send your documents. So uh, what I mean is that you'll uh, go to a website and you'll upload it and it'll be secure uh, because sending it back and forth uh, through emails um, really anybody can uh, uh, intercept an email um, a hacker that's you know probably halfway decent can probably catch your um, information so going through the uh, secure portal is definitely um, a better choice not saying that hackers can't get into that because they seem to be able to hack into anything but <laughs> you know that's something that, that you uh, want to consider um, another thing to consider is uh, the rates. Um, you're going to get different rates from uh, different uh, lenders. So really what you want to do is uh, shop around. Okay, Shopping around is, is, is something that's uh, uh, very important if you get a rate that's uh, best for you. Um, another thing, uh, the programs that they offer. Okay. The first thing that you want to make sure that you do is you want to make sure that you tell them if they haven't asked exactly the reason for your loan. So let's just say that you live in another state that is not Florida um, and you're looking to get a home in Florida, um, maybe to uh, take a vacation, maybe something uh, to rent uh, in the future. Um, maybe, um, you know, you know, you're just looking to move totally. So. Um, you know, if, if you are going through a bank, um, some of them possibly might not lend to the state that you want to move to, okay? So make sure you tell them the state that you want to move to and the reason for, for it. So if, if you are looking to uh, purchase a property uh, uh, to uh, rent out, um, an investment property, you know, that's something that you want to make perfectly clear because that's a different loan than a um, standard loan. Okay, so yeah, so that was over here. So uh, do they lend yeah, in your state uh, to another state that you're looking to um, uh, purchase? That's very important. Now, one of the most important things, this is something that you're gonna have to do, um, you know, whether you want to or not, <laughs> is get pre-approved. Notice the happy face. Get pre-approved before you even think about 
<clears throat> contacting a realtor to show you property or to uh, uh, go to um, a home builders, get yourself pre-approved, not pre-qualified. See the unhappy face? It's bad. Pre-qualified <laughs> pre is bad. Just always keep that in mind because basically what they do with that is they ask you a few questions. It, it could be like a few questions on the phone and um, it doesn't do anything because you know you're going to take that around uh, to uh, uh, realtors or to home builders and, and you know everybody knows that it's just not accurate. When you go and get a pre-approval, okay, they're going to ask you for a few years of your bank statements. Um, excuse me, um, a, a few months of your bank statements or possibly uh, uh, into them another year depending on it. If, uh, if you trade stocks and options uh, with that now, anything I'm saying right now, make sure you contact a lender to get the most up-to-date information, okay? So <clears throat> some of these things, uh, you know, they want to look at uh, two years of statements. Uh, some of these, uh, you know, for some of these things, they're going to want to look at a couple of months. Um, what they're going to want is all your debts. They're going to want um, debts, tax returns, um, you know, things like car loans, student loans, um, credit cards. They're going to want to see credit cards. Um, you know, something. Uh, you know, something else. Uh, you know, after you have this pre-approval done, this is going to let you know how much you can actually spend on a home when you're looking. So if you show up and you, you know, say to a realtor or whatever, well, you know, I know I'm qualified, okay. I have been in that situation, and this was back in a, uh, a previous video, I mentioned it when I was out uh, doing it on my own, and, you know, I thought I was qualified based on everything. Um, you know, you could, you could find out that you're not qualified very quickly. Um, uh, the lender can also tell you exactly the reason why uh, you are uh, were not qualified or why you were only qualified for such a low amount. <clears throat> okay, so uh, before you listen to people and do things like um, uh, close out credit cards and, and do things, you know, first go get that approval, okay, just to make sure because sometimes you could hurt yourself by trying to clean things up <clears throat> and, and it's um, uh, too soon. So. Pre-approval is also very important. Let me grab a little water over here. Pre-approval is also very important because home sellers, okay? Home sellers are going to want to know are you qualified? And the way that and, and the way that you you're going to show it is by being uh, pre-approved. Okay? Um, home sellers, you know, some of them are only going to want people that are pre-approved and can show it with the letter from the lender. Okay. Now think about this: um, if 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 you're selling a home, right? You know, do you want the whole world, you know, walking in and out? Uh, people that are window shopping, maybe they're <clears throat> looking for a friend. You know, is the friend qualified? Is the friend even buying? You know, you know. Sometimes you know people come out and they're, oh, I'm looking for a family member. I'm looking for a relative. And it's not because that family member or relative wants to move, it's because that relative is hoping that family member would move or that friend. So they're out looking. So home sellers, you know, are not going to want everyone just, you know, coming in and, out of, in and out of their house to look. That's the whole point of this. <clears throat> so if you only by some terrible mistake got pre-qualified <clears throat> and you step into a... Um, uh, new construction office, right? Well, the sales team is going to say, you know, we have to get you pre-approved. And so are a lot of realtors. You know, that's what they're going to ask for. So, this whole process is a huge step, you know, and something to uh, consider because in the long run, it's going to save you a lot of time <clears throat> and you can target the home and the home uh, price that you can afford, okay? So, you know, uh, that amount then, you can uh, take that amount and then figure out how much it would cost, say if you buy a resale home, okay? A resale home, 
um, the odds are it's going to need some work. I mean, it could be in great shape, it could be almost new, but you know, you want to have extra money aside when you purchase resale. So, you know, that'll uh, help you to figure out that whole um, process. Um, if, if I could help you out in any way, please contact me. Uh, check out my websites. I have lots of information on them. Um, and I, lastly, I am no pressure sales, so you know, don't feel like I'm going to pressure you into buying in the first day or anything like that. That's just that's not me. I don't like it done to me, um, and it shouldn't happen to anybody. Just make sure that you are pre-approved. Thank you.